Now, when you think of Wisconsin, the Green Bay Packers or cheese may leap to mind. Sure, but turns out there is a booming winemaking industry in America's Dairyland that's turning out award-winning wines. Welcome to Wisconsin. That's our featured story at the top of the list. Pinkies up because we're heading to wine country. Mm. Great Wisconsin characters. Yeah. Yep, he said Wisconsin characters. In Newsies In Real Life, Wisconsin, national correspondent Cody Legro went deep into Dairyland to learn about grape growing and winemaking in America's cheesehead capital. And he's sharing a few things he learned with us. Starting with what wines you'll find there. The most famous one that really comes out of Wisconsin is called a Petite Pearl. It is a red, so it's very similar to like what you would get, like, you know, if, if you're asking for a house red at an Italian restaurant. It is a little sweeter. If you like it dry and full bodied, you are gonna pucker. Uh, but I, I still managed to enjoy several glasses. Half Vineyards near Port Washington, Wisconsin is producing white wines like La Crescent, La Crosse, Itasca, Frontenac Blanc, and St. Pepin. The reds are Marshall Foch, Foch, Marquette, Frontenac, Frontenac Gris, which is kind of a blend. So this grape right here is a Frontenac Blanc. It was developed about 10, 15 years ago. And you can see how these clusters here are readily exposed to the sunlight. We, we don't want it shaded by a lot of leaves here. You know, we'll go through here and we'll pull these leaves so that we get that constant sunlight that is hitting the fruit zone, we call it. And the liquid gold in Wisconsin is made with hybrid grapes. Elmer Swenson, he is really the, con, should be considered the grandfather of the Midwest wine industry because he figured out how to maximize the perfect growing season we have and then still come up with vines that could survive our winter. That was the big hurdle, he overcame it. The notion clicked in his head, if I take pollen from these wild grapes and cross them with the varietals that are known worldwide, through many, many attempts, I will come up with a varietal that survives when it's below zero and make world-class wine. In traditional wine growing regions, they weren't necessarily accepting of something like a hybrid grape because it impacts the taste and the methods to make it. Uh, and if, if you know any wine drinkers or wine enthusiasts, you know they like what they like and they don't want to change it. But experts say climate is changing the wine industry. New York Times had a piece or something talking about how California now is actually having to spray sunscreen on the grapes, actually. If you look at Oregon, it's a region that is known for its Pinot Noir. But with temperatures rising in terms of climate change, by like the 2050s, it's not going to be able to grow in the region. Do you foresee or, or predict the need for a cold climate grape to be a real player in the wine industry if it's too uh, hot to grow grapes in Napa anymore? Absol you know? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. These grapes are here to stay. You can watch the entire documentary at Newsy.com. Tap me off, yeah. A hard day's work. We're refining our palate and sharpening our knowledge of Wisconsin wine at the top of the list.